we're told to look at the following number line. And this number line, we actually have times on it. So you could even call it a timeline. We're starting at 1 o'clock here. Then we go to 1.15, 1.30, 1.45, then 2 o'clock. And it says, what time is shown on the number line? So pause this video and see if you can figure that out. All right, so the hour, I think, is pretty straightforward. We are past 1 o'clock, but we are before 2 o'clock. So we know that the hour is going to be 1 something. It's not going to be 2 something, because we haven't gotten to 2 o'clock yet. Now, what is the number of minutes after 1 o'clock? Well, we have a hint here. It's going to be between 15 and 30. And where would it be? Well, one way to tell is if you look at each of these tick marks, it looks like they represent a minute. Let's just count. If we start at 1, we go to 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, it looks like each of these tick marks is a minute. So we just have to figure out how many tick marks we are past 115. So we can see that we can go from 15 to 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we're 25 minutes past 1 o'clock. Another way you could have thought about it is each of these medium tick marks represent 5 minutes. And you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 5. That's another 5. So this time right over here is going to be 5 plus 5 is 10. It's going to be 10 minutes past 115. Well, 15 plus 10 is 25 again. So the time shown on the number line is 125.